Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you fun and easy DIY craft ideas to do when you're bored. If you enjoy this video, please click that like button. And if you'd like to see more fun DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. The first project will be DIY Donut Chalk. I started by mixing some white and red washable paint together till I got a pink color. Next, I recommend using a bowl or a cup that you will throw away. I'm going to add a half a cup of warm water along with my paint that I just mixed up and I'm going to stir that together. Once the paint and water are all mixed together, I'm going to slowly start adding in one cup of Plaster of Paris. At this point, if you find the color of your mixture is too light, just add some more paint and stir it together until you get the color that you would like. I will be using this silicone donut mold and I do recommend that you use a silicone one as it is easier to release them. Mix the mixture into the molds and on one of them I sprinkled some sprinkles on the bottom. Once the molds are full, tap them a couple times to even them out, and then you can let that dry overnight, or you can place them in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Once they were firm, I removed them from the molds. To decorate one of the plain ones, I used a Sharpie to draw on some sprinkles. And that is how you make these easy, non-edible donut chalks. The second project will be a DIY root beer float sugar scrub. To start in a mixing bowl, I'm going to add a half a cup of coconut oil. Whip the coconut in a mixer for about four to five minutes. After the coconut oil had been whipped up, I'm now going to add three tablespoons of grapeseed oil and whip that together. Now I'm going to slowly start adding in a little bit more than a cup and a half of sugar, and I'm just going to add it a little bit of it at a time and stir it in. After the sugar's mixed in, this is what it should look like. Now you'll want to take and divide that mixture into two different bowls. To one of the halves of the mixture, I'm going to add in some of this root beer flavoring. I will be using one of these mini mason jars. Start by spooning in the root beer mixture into the mini mason jar and don't fill it all the way up, leaving room at the top to place some of the white sugar scrub. And the last thing I did was I just added some of that white sugar scrub to the top and then I added a straw. And that is how you make these easy and cute mini root beer float sugar scrubs. And if you want to put the lid on it to save it for later use, just don't fill so much of the white scrub on the top. 
these would make great gifts or a great party favor. The third idea will be a liquid keychain. For this one, you will need a bead or a lip balm container like this. I'm going to use a paper clip and cut off the top part of it. Glue the paper clip to the container. In a cup, I'm going to mix together some water and some blue food coloring. I will be using one of these tiny ducks that is a bead. Place some hot glue on the duck's head and glue that to the bead container right underneath where the paper clip is. Next, I poured the blue water into the container and I filled it about halfway up. You wanna make it look like the duck is floating on top of the water. Make sure when you screw the lid on, you screw it on tight. You can also add some hot glue around it to make sure that nothing leaks out. Now I'm going to add a jump ring and a keychain to the paper clip to turn this into the liquid keychain. And that's all there is to this DIY liquid keychain. The fourth idea will be DIY tumbler rings, and I will show you two different ways to make this. The first one I'm going to show you, you will need some clear shrinky dink film or paper. Print out the images. Remember that when they shrink down, they will shrink down to about one third of the size. Place a piece of the shrinky dink film over the top and tape it down. Now I'm going to use some Sharpies to color in my images. Once mine were colored in, then I cut them out and I left a border around each of the images. Here are both of mine after they were cut out. Place them in the oven and bake them according to the package instructions. Use tongs to remove them from the oven as they will be very hot. Here are both of mine after they had cooled down. For these two, I will be using these ring bases. Super glue the image to the ring base. And here are these two super cute rings. The other way to make these, I'm going to show you. You will just wanna take a plastic water bottle like this and cut out a piece from the side. Choose the image that you would like. And for this one, choose the exact size that you want your ring. Place the plastic water bottle over the top and tape it down. Color the image in with some Sharpies. Once the image was colored in, I sprayed some hairspray on it to protect the image. You can also use nail polish. Once the hairspray and or nail polish is dry, 
cut out the image. Cut out a strip of foam that is about a half an inch wide. Wrap the piece of foam around the finger you want your ring on, mark off where the two meet, and cut off the excess. Glue the two ends together. The last thing that I did was I glued the image to the foam. That's how you make both versions of these DIY tumbler rings. The final project will be a DIY beach bag. For this one, you will need some fabric or you can recycle an old t-shirt. The next thing that you will need is a zipper and I'm going to use this 14 inch white zipper. Cut your fabric or t-shirt so you have two pieces that are 15 by 15. Hot glue the fabric to the zipper just like this on both sides. Now unzip the zipper. Now this step is optional, but I wanted a handle for my bag, so I'm going to use a piece of elastic. I just cut a piece the size that I wanted for my handle, and then I folded that together and hot glued it. Place the handle underneath the fabric where you would like it. This is going to be used just as a guide, then hot glue around the sides, but don't glue where the handle is. Now hot glue the other side and the bottom. Once it's all glued together, turn the fabric inside out and glue the handle to where the opening is on the side. And here is my bag at this point. I wanted to give this bag more of a beach look, so I'm going to stick a piece of poster board inside. Then I found this anchor stencil and I placed that on top and then I just used some paint to color in the stencil. And here is my bag once the paint had dried. Now you can add your beach towel, your sunscreen, your lip gloss, whatever you would like to take to the beach. And that is how you make these easy DIY beach bags. I hope you guys enjoyed all five of these DIY craft projects. Leave me a comment, let me know which one was your favorite. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.